now I'm gonna get started sewing the basket together. This is only the second basket I've made. So I'm using my faux sino, which is really just like a waxed cotton thread simulated. I'm just gonna pull off a nice long piece. What I learned last time is I don't like to have to end uh, and then restart. That's really annoying. So I'm gonna to try to make one long continuous piece for at least one whole side. I do use it doubled. I think it's stronger and I want the baskets to be nice and strong. So just knotting the end. So I don't know if you could see, I'm just kind of laying it down. I'm gonna use this off-white thread right here. Simple, regular thread, nothing special. And it's just a temporary tack. And I think what I'm gonna do is just try to center. So I'm gonna do the center here. So basically, I'm gonna to have to tie it, I think. So find the center here, center there. I'm just gonna tie it. Let's try the middle is about here and through here. Tie it. Go here. don't have a second pair of hands, but I do have clothespins. Two. Two clothespins looks good to me. Tie it. Last side. Alright, so let's stop there and see if we can get this started now. knot on the inside and now I'll just start going around. So going through the two is hard and that's why I kind of have the thimble. Okay so I got my first stitch. It's begun. I'm going to go to the right. First three stitches are in. That's what it looks like on the inside. And I'll be back in a few minutes after I get a little bit more done. So I'm about a quarter of the way around. I've uh, got the stitches all the way here now, pretty much almost to the little tie that I put in to hold it in place. Now I'm just continuing on. I'll come back to you when I get to the end. Okay, I finished one whole side. You can see the stitching all the way around the side here, and you can see the stitching around the bottom, and there's the inside. So I'm going to thread another needle, again, um, I don't know if I mentioned what needle I'm using, I am not lost it here. This is a sail needle, uh, whatever the reason, the way that the end is shaped, and I don't know if you can see, but it's a little flat on the, the end, pointy, and then it goes a little flat, so that it makes a good space for the um, thread to go through. And it works really, really well um, at going through the birch bark, so it seems to be my favorite one right now. So I'm just gonna thread another needle and continue on. And then I'm going to next put um, some, a little uh, vine or something around the top. And then I'll do little X's stitches down the side and move on to filling it as a gift. Okay, I tied off, I finished. That's the bottom, that's the inside. I just took some scissors and just cut trimmed a little bit so that it's natural around the edges and doesn't stick up too much in too many different spots. I'm thinking I might have to do two pieces on this one because it's so big. So let's see. I could do one piece here. Kind of cut it so that it's on a steep angle so that when the other piece comes around, it can kind of fit in. And then on this side, a second piece. All right, 
right. And that is how the piece is going to go around the top. It's held in place. It's actually two separate pieces. I didn't have a choice. I'm going to thread my needle again with the sinew and I'll start sewing this on. We'll see how that comes out. Again, it's only the second basket I've made, so uh, it's a learning process. Okay, so I'm about halfway done with the um, bark or the vine around the edge. And if you can see close up, I'm just doing a stitch all the way around and removing the um, clothespins as I go. I don't know if it's exactly even on both sides, but you know what? It's a natural handmade basket, so I'm not really too worried about that. I may go back when I get to this side again and just go back and forth a few extra times to secure it a little bit more. I'm not too happy with that connection there. But again, uh, for my first time making a basket like this this big, I'm happy so far. So I'm just going to thread my needle again and finish off the rest and come back. Okay, so the basic basket is done. The outside is on. It definitely looks like a handmade basket because it's not exactly a perfect shape. You know what? I like the fact that it's not perfect because it just makes it more rustic and real. It makes it seem more real. Just giving it a little, trying to give it a little more shape for the branch that's the vine that's around it completely dries hard. Um, the only thing left to do is I'm just going to go down each side right here with a couple of uh, stitches to stitch the ends together nice and tight, make it a little sturdier. So that's it. Okay, so I just did little X's down the side, that side, and that side, and the basket's done.